And that one you kind of just kind of came up with the putter. You gotta yeah. keep your head down a little longer. Same thing. Listen for it to go in the hole. Cause you gotta have it a yank in her head. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see it go in the hole, you know? Yeah. But you just keep your head down a little bit longer, that'll finish your stroke and that'll help uh, kind of make it more consistent for you. There you go. That's pretty good. All right. Let's see here. Let me borrow that, please, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so if you look here, Harvard, these are each of your strokes. So you can kind of see this little dotted line right here, that's your backswing. Okay. And then there's your follow through. So, I mean, pretty consistent for the most part. I mean, in a perfect world, if you start there at the ball, kind of rotate down, back to center, and then down, kind of open and closing like a gate, that would be kind of a perfect putting stroke, if you will. Uh, but all in all, I mean, you do pretty good. I mean, do you think this is a pretty strong part of your game? Do you do pretty good with the putter for the most yeah, part? Yeah, I do okay putting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I can see why. So, um, down here, this is just the average amount of rotation between all these strokes here. And you can see anything less than a degree at, at impact is pretty good and within tolerance. So you're almost dead square at impact. So that's okay. that's really good. That's that's saying something. So with that being said, it's recommending a mallet style putter. So you see the head down there and underneath the green there, it okay. says mallet. So this is a blade, right? right. So yep. it's a little bit smaller than a mallet. Um, the next screen will kind of tell us what type of toe hang you need. And what I mean by that is if you take a putter and you just put it on a table, or we'll just kind of use my fingers. Uh -huh. um, that, see how the toe kind of wants to kind of dangle down like that, right? Yep. So and if you take something like this, see how that one doesn't? See how the, it's just pointing straight oh, yeah, up yeah, yeah. like that? Okay. So what we're trying to do is you need something 30 to 45 degrees of toe hang, and that's what this guy fits into. Okay. So that's probably why you like it so much, and why it works pretty good. Because it fits your stroke. I just like it because it matches the rest that's of my clothes. But it just happened to be that it works out pretty well, though. Okay. So that's the thing. You well, could I go. I just got used to it. Well, used right. But, I mean, you could do, um, you know, theoretically, this, this one. I mean, really, all of these would work. So it's just a matter of really finding something out of these that you would like. Okay. And then kind of going from there. And I think if you, you know. This one's got about 30 degrees of toe hang, so it's not quite 45, but it's pretty close and it's still within the window. Okay. Um, so we can try that if you want to try that just in a little bit shorter length. Uh, yeah. Can you do that? Sure. Okay. So how do you know how um, the length? Well, a lot of it has to do with just the way you set up to it, right? I mean, it's it's got to be... You have to be kind of a certain spot with so, your um, if eyes it's, if it's and things longer, like that. Do you just like uh, choke up on no, it? No, 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 no. You don't. I mean, you want to cut it down and and make sure it's all kind of balanced out like it should be, not just kind of um, choking down on it, because that'll influence how you swing it. So um, I've heard that the putter is the most uh, important club in your bag. You heard right. Because what is it? 30 yeah. plus percent of your strokes? Yeah, just think about it. If you two if you two strokes, putt, if yeah. you two putt every green, which two putting is really, really good. If you yeah. do that every time, you're doing really good. That's thirty six shots. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean if and if you know, if you think you can sprinkle in a few one putts here and there, you know, then that really starts cutting down on the uh, Or zero putts if I can chip yeah, it in. Yeah, you chip it in, that'd be even better. <laughs> Yeah, just the whole idea of just eliminating strokes, right? Get it as yeah. as low as you can get it. Now, this, the, the grip on this one's a little different than the one you got on there now, okay. but at least it'll give you an idea of what the, the head will feel like yeah. and stuff. So. so it's definitely heavier. Definitely heavier, yeah. A lot more mass down there. So what, um, what is the heavier head do for you? Well, I mean, if anything, you know, if you got some slower greens, you know, something like this, you got more mass, probably hit it a little bit harder. Okay. You kind of spin it a little bit both ways, to be honest with you. It kind of depends on the person. But um, I would say if, if a heavier, if it's heavier in the head and 
there's something you're looking for to kind of have an idea of it's doing bad for you, I would say the head's probably going to leave, stay open and you'll leave it more right than anything. And for me, the extra headway helps with uh, power. Yeah, I mean, it could just way. kind of be mass, right? You're just kind of letting it swing itself in mm -hmm. a sense. Pretty good. Okay, yeah, I mean, something good. like that, you know, with a, a mallet, that's going to be a much more forgiving club, right? Okay. So if you don't hit it directly in the middle, um, it'll be a little bit easier and more, not as penalizing as if you're hitting that blade there. Or your well, pink that's blade. what I need, more forgiveness. No, I hear you. Everybody does. I don't know why they put those things. It, I, I think it's just an inexpensive putter. They can throw in some of those those lady sets and things. So. Yeah. You're rolling that really good, though. Yeah. It's, How do I mean? Does it, it feel pretty good? good. Yeah, okay, good. 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 I mean, it takes a bit to get used to it. But right. It seems like it's. Well, I mean, you have that big easier. center line. You got that big center line to Pull help with aiming. Go straight forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and if you can, you know, if you want to try maybe some of that stuff. Now, those you're probably gonna have to choke down a little bit on, okay. just to kind of get it, make sure it's the the right length there. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, it really any of these putters are going to fall right in the window that you need as far as the, the style. Any of this, this kind? The ones that, that Josh brought in, yes ma'am. Yeah. Now is there any specific head you like to shape off for anything? No. Okay. Because they can kind of work with and get almost any head to yeah. kind of work. So. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can if there's another one that you, um, you know, if you see some over here that you, you're interested in yeah, trying, I think or something, I like that one can. better. Just it seems well, like thing. it I mean, has more you, yeah. um, weight to it. I mean, you got you got the best of both worlds there. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You know, if you won this in a tournament, I would say cut this bad boy down and off to the races. Okay. Because that's, I mean, that that fits perfect. So now you were talking about the Scotties a bunch. If you want to try one, this would probably be your time. What, the Scotty Gamer? Okay. She always hears me talk about mine. It's like, oh, should I get one? I'm like, I know, but he's saying that I really should get one of this Scotty. No, Scotty has mallets. Oh, well, I mean, it really has to do with just your preference. I mean, oh, okay. just, just go with what you're preferring. I mean, you know, that's if you want to buy a new putter, right? I mean, you got a couple over there that, that work pretty good. I mean, we can take one in on, we can take some in on trade too if you need to. So what, what's really the big difference in... Well, Scotty Cameron is a milled putter, so the feel of it and the quality of the metal that they use to make those putters That's is a lot nice better. Too. Yeah, those are extremely nice. I mean, it's just a just a good quality putter. You know, timeless, that kind of thing. They hold their value well, too, which is nice. They hold their value extremely well. Yeah, you know, you can see here, see too. how this is, has a... See how that's got an insert there? Yeah. See how this is all like one piece of metal? Oh, uh, yeah. So this is kind of pressed in by hand, and this is made on a lathe or a machine, right? Uh -huh. So we know that's 100% true all the way across. Okay. This could be warped. It could be oh, yeah. wavy, so you never know. Okay. So it's just little little things in manufacturing like that that really make it. Um, and see, your your ping putter is a milled putter, so it's got they don't. That's not an insert. That's actually metal. Okay. Yeah. This one's nice too. Yeah, I mean that one. That's a really nice one. I mean, what what else do you uh, what else are you know, thinking, Josh? Honestly, I don't know anything about putters. Right, right. So. What do you know, What else are you thinking, Josh? I'm not sure. Does any of them catch your eye? Me? Yeah, because I mean, even with mallets and stuff, you have, you know, for instance, that one and this one, much different shape, but, you know. Yeah, but this is face balance, so. though. Oh, gotcha. So that's the thing. I was just trying. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to make sure that we got her in, you know, some toe hang stuff, so like. Yeah, it's lighter. That's probably. Something like that. But to me, that looks cheap compared to like. Compared to those, yeah. Well, it feels cheaper. That's what I mean. It is cheap. <laughs> um.
Even though it's still a good putter, though, obviously. It's a nice putter. I mean, you know, a lot of but, probably a lot of tour pros use those. But okay. comparatively, comparatively for quality and stuff, yeah. But a lot of it's preference, though, Barbara. You got to go in there and find what you like, what your eye kind of keys in on, if you yeah. will. You know, so that's I really the, think that's I, the thing. I like that one. Okay. Good. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I think it, that could be at least something. That, I mean, if you have that already, at least take that out and try it, right? Yeah. I mean, and see if that works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then you you at least know you can come back in and we can go through it again and see if there's something else you yeah. like. Right? Yeah. So um, I I need to like cut this down. Or yeah, that's easy. Real easy to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can do it while you're here too. Okay. We won't be able to putt with it right now because the grip will have to dry. Right. Um, but but yeah, definitely easy to easy to fix. And also so what happens if you use a, a putter that's too long? Well, I mean, think about it, right? I mean, if it, you know, you don't really have a belly, but if you did, it'd be sticking out this far, and then maybe it would grab your shirt, or, uh, yeah. you know, there's, there, and a lot of times, too, that's making you, stand, you stand up too tall. Too far away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you have a preference on grip too, if he's shortening the shaft to be yeah, yeah, I mean, I can, I, you know, I can get that one off and reuse it. So I mean, you can reuse that grip. But if you see anything up here that kind of, you know, kind of you like the look of or whatever, then we can do that. Well, too, what, so. when I'm looking at grips, what do I want to consider? So another thing is, is preference. How it feels. It's a lot of preference. Preference, yeah. feel. That's yeah. all putters. What looks good and gives you confidence looking at it, and then right. there's what yeah. feels good. Well, and that's one of the bigger ones, right? I mean, if anything, you probably, I mean, you got it's something small. Big. You think no, big? I wouldn't think it's too big. I mean, not, you know, we got ladies use the big, huge ones. So it's not anything that's, it's just say what you like, but you got something like, you know, fill that. This is nice and soft. Mm -hmm. So you can do stuff like that and you can kind of feel. So what, why would you want like a softer one versus a harder one? Well, it has to do with like tension, okay. right? So like if you get over a putt and you got to make a putt, you're trying to really shoot a good score, you don't want to be really choking it and really strangling it, you know? Yeah. So sometimes a softer grip will make you not do that as much. Oh. Sometimes it might make you do it. So it's just kind of depends on the person, right? Yeah. But that's the whole theory behind the bigger grips is to make sure that you're not like just squeezing it really hard and then that way you start doing weird stuff okay, so yeah and getting super big sometimes lets you be the hands on either side of it for mm -hmm. certain grips yeah. and stuff too yeah there's a lot of ways you can so hold it how big is yours things, so. yours is yours is pretty small. that yeah, yeah small i that's love pretty, the mat. i would say the one that's on a scotty cameron there is pretty close to what you got on your ping yeah and then the other ones maybe just a slightly you know, slightly bigger. So what's bigger. between that and like this? Because this seems this? like it's really. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then why I think I, you ought to just. I, just I think that? you cut this down, take it out, try it. If it's like, hey, I, I like want it. that softer grip on there, we put the okay. softer grip right, on well, there. That, that way, you're not. I mean, we're doing this, and I mean, literally, there's no. There won't be much. There won't be any cost involved. Yeah. That's really okay. all. I just hooked Josh up because he's a super cool dude. So. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. Let me put this together. If you want to roll some more, roll some more. Yeah. Just put it around for everyone to do. I mean, you can look around at all the different styles they have, too. And you got what you're saying with toe hang and everything, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I mean, the PXG is a great plug. I mean, I love Well, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I love Scotty. When he did the analysis that it came out to be. That's the type of putter that I should use. Well, oh, also because you know you've been using it for a while and got used to the stroke and everything, and we've been working. I've on never used that one. Which one? That PSG. Oh, you say all of these though. All of these are a bit of um, toe hang here. You right. So one. that's what. So this that one is. is. Yeah, it's like the same toe hang, so it's same stroke, but that ah, being bigger okay. with more mass is a lot more forgiving. Yeah. The more mass in, on the perimeter you have, if you hit it like off the toe a little bit, yeah, it's still going to go pure because you have all this weight here. Uh, okay. Whereas in those blades, if you don't hit the center, you have no weight toe or heel, so then the speed's going to be way off. All right. Well, that's what I need is forgiveness. And then, yeah, I mean, if you like that PXG, just absolutely go for it. It's a great putter, and you want it for free. And then if you ever want to go something like this or something, you can. Is that the Scotty? This is a Scotty, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. This is very, very nice putter, these Futuros. I mean, PXG is the one that's right up there with Scotty, too. Is this, this is... Um, that's a milled face. Milled. So this entire piece of black here is just one piece of milled steel. And they have the perimeter weight, and if you see on the bottom here, these bits. Yeah. So the weight on the extra side, if you hit it a little bit, you know, toe or heel, the speed will still be there because you have the weight behind it. Okay. Which is the same kind of as 
the uh, PXG here, because if you see it with all the weight they have in the perimeter, see like here, here, yeah. and then the heel, it's all for that. If you miss it out the center, then it'll still roll good. Like quality wise, it's that and the PXG are very similar. I personally yeah, think nice I personally think Scotty is a little higher quality and they hold the value a little bit better, but PXG is right up there at number two. It's gonna be better than you know, you have the other pings or the uh, tail maids or the yeah. Callaways and stuff. This is nice. Very nice one. And they have a bunch of different ones there too. I mean you'll have to make sure it's got the toe hang you want. Uh, but right. then with that, so if you see this neck here versus let's say like this one. So you can have all kinds of different neck pieces and stuff that do that. Of course, if you see this one goes right to the center without the spins, oh, yeah. it causes perfect face balance here. There's so I don't, here I don't want the face You don't want face balance, you want a bit of toe hang. So what shirt. does the toe hang do again? So with the toe hang, so what that does with toe hang is if you look at the putter, it has like an arcing stroke, which is what you do. I mean, it's very slight. First, if it's face balance, you need to be straight back, straight forward, just uh, like that. So with you, you have a little bit of turn to it, which the toe hang is gonna. Yeah, I gotta get.